Hello, church family. My name is Clint, and I will be bringing you the announcements this morning. If you need any more information, check out the announcements section of your bulletin. Hello Hymn is literally days away, and there is still so much left to do. So brace yourself for information overload, because here we go. If you signed up for a game, check out the bulletin in the back, because the schedule is up, and it'll tell you which game you're doing. Costume coordination and getting into your role now is highly encouraged. If you signed up for setup, it's gonna start at 8.30 on Tuesday, and Teardown will be immediately following Hallow Him at eight on Wednesday. Fuel up. If you signed up for evangelism, go read your Bible. But we're also gonna be handing out tracts. So meet at the command center when you get to Hallow Him. And if you have candy donations, don't give them to Olu, because he'll probably eat them. Drop them off at the church anytime before Wednesday and we'll take care of them. Guys, Ken Freeman is going to be here in less than a week. That's exciting news for our island. But for those of you who are asking who is this guy and why should I care, let me let him introduce himself. Ken Freeman is an evangelist, a traveling preacher. Um, I used to work in the church and I kind of jokingly, I, I kind of kid around, God delivered me from the church. I was just kind of too much on the staff deal, but I'm an evangelist that has a passion to see people saved. I want to see saved people restored, but Ken Freeman, some call me a comic. They think I can make it as a comedian. I think humor is a great thing and I use it. Um, some people think I'm a wrestler. I mean, I've been wrestling the devil a long time, but Ken Freeman is just a guy that loves Jesus, that uh, God picked, picked me up out of the gutter of life and changed my life. And Ken Freeman is a guy that just loves Jesus, loves his word, and, want to give, and wants to give you some hope. I, I use uh, little sayings, and one of my sayings is, God can take a mess and make it a message. I had nine stepfathers growing up, 24 different schools, five different high schools my last year of school. Uh, I lived in streets and cars and bars and alleys. My dad walked out of my life when I was four. My baby sister was two. My mom was an alcoholic. Any way that you could be abused, uh, we were abused sexually, physically, emotionally, mentally. My mom would beat us with broomsticks and with belts and with switches if she wanted us to bleed. We would sleep in our school clothes so when she drove up at two or three in the morning, we could slip out the back door and hide a couple of hours. Uh, I took my first drink of alcohol at nine. I became a product of my environment. By the time I was 15, I was already in jail. So I want you to understand that God can take a mess and make it a message. As you can hear, Ken is passionate about translating the mess that was his life into the message that is the gospel. He's going to be speaking twice in our church next Sunday, once in the morning and once at 630 to all of us to encourage us to invite people to see the rest of his messages. More importantly, he's going to be speaking on in the schools on Monday and Tuesday. And then he's going to be inviting kids to join us those nights at 630 in order to hear the rest of his story. He's going to boldly proclaim the gospel and we ask that you invite anyone that you can think of who needs to hear the good news. And please, please be praying that this is a powerful event for our island. Lastly, don't forget to pick up a box for Operation Christmas Child and fill it. Remember, Christmas is all about the greatest gift ever given, and we have the opportunity through giving tangible gifts to share that gift with others. Let's not miss a chance to share the love of Christ. That's it for this time. Enjoy God this week.